Hi guys, in this video, you'll be learning how to compare and order fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals using the least common multiple. That is what the LCM down here stands for, the least common multiple, meaning just simply it is the smallest multiple that different numbers have in common. We need that when we are using fractions and the denominators are all different. So we will work with that today in this video. So here we go, let's get started. We have the following numbers on the screen here, and our job is to put them in order from least to greatest. And we have the following numbers. We have three and a half, or three and five tenths. The fraction, that's the decimal. The fraction, three fourths. Improper fraction, nine halves. And the mixed number, three and one fourth. Grab a piece of paper and make sure you're doing this with me. I'm just going to draw some lines to kind of line up my numbers and do my work. And we know right away that in order to compare and then eventually order them from least to greatest, we want to get them looking to be alike. So we want them to look alike or the same form. So right now we have decimals, we have improper fractions, we have mixed numbers, so let's just get them all into fractions. So 3 and 5 tenths, if you say that number out loud and we're going to change it to a fraction, you might write 3 and 5 tenths, or you might also recognize that 5 is half of 10, so you could also write 3 and 1 half. You might also be able to recognize that just by looking at 3 0.5 or 3 and 5 tenths, that's 3 and a half, okay? So that's in a mixed number. Next one, 3 fourths. Already in a fraction, we dig it, we're just going to leave it alone, okay? 9 halves, our improper fraction. We could totally leave that in an improper fraction, but I also know that I have a mixed number down here, and I have a mixed number here. I like to keep things looking alike or in the same form when I can, so I'm just going to change my improper fraction to a mixed number, do a little bit of division. Two goes into nine a total of four times. So my answer would be, or my mixed number would be four and one half. I'm gonna erase that because I'm gonna need some room to write later down there. So four and one half would be our mixed number for the improper fraction nine halves. Finally, three and one fourth or three and a quarter already in a mixed number format, so we are good to go. Now, we can start comparing them. Okay, and the thing to remember that when we compare fractions, when we compare them and order them for that matter, we like them to be in the same form, and if we look at them, right now the denominators are not quite looking the same. I have twos and I have fours, which means that I need to think about finding the least common multiple for my denominators. I have the denominators 2 and the denominators 4, so in order to find my least common multiple, I'm going to start with my 2 denominator and find the following multiples. I can go as far as I want, but I'm just going to st uh, stop after a couple, and I'm going to skip count by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. I could keep going but I'm just gonna stop there for now. So, those are my multiples of twos. Let's try our multiples of four, because remember we have a denominator that's also four in here. So, we're gonna put our four down, and then we're gonna skip count by fours. Eight, 12, 16, and I could keep going, but I'm going to stop. And this is why. Remember, our least common multiple is the smallest multiple that two different numbers have in common. So if I look at my multiples between my twos and my fours, I see a four here and a four here. It is the lowest common multiple between the two sets. So I'm going to switch all of my fraction over to a denominator of four, which isn't going to be that much work to do because it's really only two fractions. So. 3 and 1 half is going to become something of 3 over a fourth. So we have to think, how did we get the denominator 2 to a 4? Well, we end up multiplying by 2 because 2 times 2 gets us to 4. So therefore, what we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So 1 times 2, numerator 1, is going to equal to 2. So 
3 and 2 fourths is our new next number, equivalent to 3 and 1 half. 3 fourths is still looking good. It has a denominator of 4, so we're good to go. 4 and 1 half we have to have with a denominator of 4. Same thing here. 2 times 2 gets us 4, so 1 times 2 will get us to 2. And then finally, 3 and 1 fourth is looking pretty good. So we're going to leave that alone. Now, everything is looking alike. It's in the same form. All of our denominators have four. We're in fractions, so we're good to go. Let's order them now. The smallest one would be 3 fourths. The next one would be 3 and 1 fourth. The next one would be 3 and 2 fourths. And the final one would be 4 and 2 fourths. That would be the biggest one. Now remember, we are actually ordering these numbers though, so if we just follow our lines up, we would write 3 fourths, followed by 3 and 1 fourth, and then 3 and 5 tenths, and then 9 halves.